we're going to win this struggle when we see people from different walks of life, from different parts of the country coming together, and that's what uh, I think today is about. Let me give you some good news. On Sunday, I know we all need good news, it's a tough time. On Sunday, Super Bowl Day, we held two town meetings in Vermont on just this issue, global warming and the economy. We had huge turnouts. In small towns, we had 400 people in each of two towns coming out. And what people are saying is, yes, we understand that there is a deep recession. We understand that there is a financial crisis. But we also understand that if we don't get a handle on global warming, cut back on greenhouse gas emissions, move toward energy independence, which people have talked about for decades, if we don't do that, the economic situation, not to mention the environmental situation, becomes worse. The good news is, and Barbara Boxer has been very clear about this, if we are smart, if we begin to move to mass transportation, if we get, begin to create the sustainable energies that are sitting out there in terms of solar, wind, geothermal, biomass, if we begin to rebuild our rail system, which is so far behind Europe and Japan and even China, that it is an international embarrassment. If we do all of those things, if we become a leader in the world in energy efficiency and sustainable energy, you know what we do? We are going to create millions of good paying jobs. We're going to improve our economy as we begin to lead the world to address this crisis of global warming. Last point that I want to make. Some people say, well, what we're talking about is too ambitious. It can't be done. I want to take you back to this capital in December 1941, when the United States was attacked at Pearl Harbor. And to tell you that in two years, in two years, what the United States did is transform its economy to fight a war in Asia and fight a war in Europe. And in two years, the momentum of that war was changed. If we could do that back in 1941, we can do that now in 2009. That's our mission. That's our goal. And for our kids and our grandchildren, that is exactly what we have to do.